that was a bit nerve wracking. We just had a small little boat come up, um, kind of about a hundred feet off our side alongside us. There's about four guys on it. hours ago six hours ago and I've uh, been sailing motor sailing um, we're kind of beating our way over so we turn the corner and head south but uh, right now we're kind of beating into decent sized waves five six foot waves and uh, 20 knot winds um, forecast is a little bit wrong as it always is but uh, Still staying safe and just uh, heading on down. Uh, making some good way, but we're having to head north a little bit um, before we can tack over because the other tack is pretty uncomfortable. So we're heading a little bit northeast and then probably in the morning we'll tack over uh, and kind of point in the direction of Providencia, hopefully. Um, so yeah, fun sailing. Ha, <laughs> watching the sunset behind me and uh, hopefully have a good night and then wake up tomorrow and turn for Providence. Morning of day three. Still heading east. Uh, should be tacking to the south in about six hours. Uh, it's a beautiful sailing right now, sailing about six and a half knots. Um, the seas are a little bit calmer, so it's nice. It's a little rolly, still hard to cook. Still haven't eaten anything. <laughs> but, um, or haven't cooked anything, I should say. But uh, it's been. A good sail, a good testing sail, um, and looking forward to heading south. Uh, once we turn south, we'll be heading um, inside of the border bank, and um, we'll be rolling through there at night, so shutting off all the electronics and the AIS, and the lights, um, but I think we should be fine. And then, what else? Team saw one ship yesterday. That's the only other boat we've seen. Ruri is somewhere out there. He kind of got ahead of us. So haven't been able to get a hold of him. Haven't seen him, so hoping he's doing okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, this morning is beautiful sailing, thankfully.
as we go, we tacked and are finally making our way southwest to Providencia. Um, may have to do one more attack or well, two more attacks uh, to see um, how close we get to some banks in Nicaragua. But hopefully we can stay on this tack and sail the rest of the way. Um, pretty light winds right now, only about five to ten knots. So we're just doing about three and a half, four knots. Um, speed over ground and uh, but it's a beautiful day outside and seas are nice and it's just kind of floating along taking our time getting down there So it's the third day of sailing and uh, had a nice night last night, um, kind of started going through the waters where uh, pirates are known to be. Um, saw plenty of fishing boats, but no pirates, thankfully. Um, but yeah, just was able to turn south and now we're just keeping a straight line down to, um, to Providencia. And, uh, should be there this time tomorrow, hopefully. We keep on going like this. Um, this trip hasn't come without its share of problems though, so I'm excited to anchor. Um, yeah, last night uh, my um, hydraulic backstay started leaking the hydraulic fluid, so now I have it tied down in a certain way. Um, and then obviously lost two uh, Jerry cans of fuel the first night when we had the big big swell um, and then broke the sheet on the main or sorry the sheet on the um, Genoa and replaced that um, and then the inverter is gone out so we have only just a 12 volt now um, so yeah definitely looking forward to being at anchor and kind of fixing everything that's gone wrong. Um, luckily there's small things, so, well I mean not small things, but things that are easy to fix. Um, and then we'll make it safely there and enjoy a nice cocktail and a nice swim. <laughs> it's been a, been a long journey even though it's been a short trip, but uh, yeah, looking forward to getting there for sure. Also really loving my hairstyle right now. And I mean, can you tell how tired I am? I haven't slept in like three days. <laughs> That's the thing, life of a solo female sailor. Uh, I've been taking 30, 30 minute naps every night and waking up and checking my surroundings. Um, I do have a crew on board this trip. Uh, she's a backpacker and has joined me for the ride down just to get out of, Hondur um, get, get out of Honduras for, uh, to clear her visa. Um, but she doesn't know anything. She's never sailed before, so um, I haven't been able to sleep or have a proper rest yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little tired. Can you just shower? All the fun things. But still feeling good, so happy about that. <laughs> So it's still a quiet day out here, not many boats, um, one just crossed in front of us, uh, but not too many boats out here, so uh, getting closer to our destination, um, going kind of slowly today, the wind lightened up about 10 knots, and uh, so we're doing about four and a half, five knots, speed over ground, um, yeah, pretty good seas, and uh, just beautiful day out here on the ocean. Feels great out here. Um, but looking forward to making our way to uh, 
Providence here and enjoying some island life. That was a bit nerve wracking. We just had a small little boat come up um, kind of about 100 feet off our side alongside us. There's about four guys on it. Um, they were waving. Maybe they were nice, who knows? But when you're two solo females on a boat or females by yourself on a boat, it gets a little nerve wracking. And uh, poor Claire just smashed a bottle of rum on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> one one bottle of rum down, but not to any pirates. So. So it's been a great sail tonight, um, probably averaging about six and a half knots, uh, getting up to seven at times. Um, just nice calm seas and great winds coming from behind a little bit. Um, it's like a broad reach, a beam reach, but it's been amazing. Um, just flying along. Uh, and making our way. So we're only about 60 miles out at this point, so it should be there tomorrow early afternoon if this keeps up. But the stars are amazing, seeing so many shooting stars. It's a nice clear night. Uh, a few fishing boats out in the distance, but other than that, it's just been getting up and checking every half hour through the night and Trimming the sails, seeing where we are, and looking to see if there's any boats around us. But it's been a pretty easy night so far, and I wish all sails were like this. to check in the Providencia. Um, the noon site said they were open as of December 1st, but unfortunately they had pushed that back. Um, so they're, they're not opening now until April 1st. Um, we just met with the Al Agent Alex 
Uh, lovely, lovely person. Um, thankful that we try to come. He's trying to work with the officials to let cruisers come in, but unfortunately, um, they still aren't allowing that. Um, he was trying to persuade them, saying we don't use the hotels, we don't bring a lot of trash, but unfortunately, the officials are saying that uh, not yet. Cruisers aren't allowed yet. Um, they're still closed. So definitely a lot of work going on on the island. Um, they're trying to repair all the damage from Iota still. They uh, brought in a lot of people from mainland Colombia to start repairing everything. Um, but it's a beautiful place and lovely people, and I really wish we got to stay here longer. So um, they've given us uh, a day to uh, kind of help me um, fix my uh, back stay and um, let us get some groceries, etc. But um, you see, unfortunately, we can't stay that long. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe as it will help me out a lot. Also, let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Next time, I will be heading down to San Andreas to enjoy swimming with some massive manta rays. Until next time, cheers!